Give me my... All right, okay, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, I got cut off with what I was trying to say earlier, but I was saying that I have not done my makeup, I have not filled in my eyebrows in a very long time. Today, I had to look presentable because I had to film something. And I figure, why not take advantage of my eyebrows because let me tell you something my eyebrows do not look like this when i wake up they look crazy scary i started plugging my eyebrows when i was very young and they just do not grow in certain places so it's pretty scary to see me without my eyebrows filled in I've literally had people that know me see me without my eyebrows filled in and be like, what happened? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, it's just my eyebrows do not grow. Sorry. Um, so I have not gotten any details about the Magic Hour Tour. I am in the dark along with everyone else. Obviously, uh, everything is pushed back, and as soon as I know what's going on, I will address it. But for sure, it's not canceled. If anything, it's postponed. Um, was really looking forward to seeing you guys and meeting you guys, and it's still going to happen. We just got to let this pass. Let me see something. I feel like this needs to be closer. I don't know if it was working when I was talking earlier. <clears throat> Excuse me. The internet is crazy because you really cannot live in the moment on the internet. Like everything is recording, everything is saved, everything will be, <laughs> will live on forever, whatever. I don't know when the next time is that I will be doing a live because Twitter is so, I don't know. Twitter is like where all the angry people gather <laughs> to complain. No solutions, all complaining on Twitter. Like shut the fuck up. All right, all right, I wanna go live. Let me see if I can find him. Mm -hmm. I can't. <sighs> you guys. Am I too close? Hi, Aldurian, Aldurian? Ardurian? I don't know if I said your name right. I'll do this until my phone dies. Okay, there you are. Okay, try again. This is so stressful. This top I got from... Oh, what are they called? Namaste. They're called Namaste. And they do like festival wear. Okay, let's check it out. Check it out. Oh shit. Fuck. Why are they hating on my uh, filter that I'm trying to have? This is it's helping my greasy face. It's no work. It's no working. How do I, oh wait. Okay, there we go. This should work. Okay. But 
Where's my filter? <laughs> hey. Hi. Hold on. How are you? Because I'm a little greasy right now, and I don't feel like. I want to try a filter too. Yes. I'm okay. just now getting into this like filter thing. So do you know that I saw you at Simply Wholesome one day? You did? I was, I was having a meeting and you were having a meeting. And I didn't want to interrupt, but I really wanted to say hi to you. If I was at Simply Wholesome, I wasn't I probably wasn't having a meeting. I was really? probably I was probably on a date talking or to someone. Yeah, I talk aggressively, so I, it probably looks... Yeah, it looks serious, and I happen to have be having, like, a serious conversation. Do you hear an echo? No. Like, I hear myself, and this sounds crazy. Maybe because you have on the um, AirPod. I don't know. It's, like, three seconds after I say... I hate that. Some, I cannot yeah. stand to hear my voice. Like, when people have me on speaker and I can hear it going back and forth, I'm like, just call me back, okay? Yeah, it's not on speakers. It's an AirPods, but it's whatever. Let me try to turn it down. So where are you? I'm home, you know, quarantine LA. in L.A. I, I always stay in the house, but, like, mm-hmm. being forced to be in the house, I don't like that. I'm an Aquarius. We don't like being forced. Ooh, Aquarius. Do- What's your uh, chart? Do you know all the all the things? I don't know all of it. I really I really don't know that much about astrology, but I'm an Aquarius and I don't like Leo and, oh. and Capricorns. Do you don't like Capricorns? <laughs> no. Why? Cause like they try to like it seems like they try to like box you or control you. Mm-hmm. And like Aquarius, we like being free. Mm. And we like I don't know enough about um Capricorns, I feel like I feel like I get along with mostly everyone. They said that it's your AirPods, your AirPods. The Air- That's oh, me. let me see. Is it AirPods or AirPods? I feel like I'm too close now. Is it the- you hear me? Yes. I still hear the echo. I still I hear it now too. Oh my gosh. This is so. Weird. What are we going to do? Now we're frozen. They don't want this to happen. Hear me? I can hear okay, you now. now. Hello? Hello? I hear a little bit. It's whatever, though. Oh, God. So you're in L.A.? Yeah, I'm in L.A. by I've myself. Seen, um, do you plant? Do I plant? You do you do something with like plants, right? Yeah, I have like a lot of plants in my backyard and like herbs in my house. Yes, yeah. herbs, herbs, herbs. Yeah. Do you, use, you use the herbs like you cook with them? Yeah, I, I've been well, the herbs I don't cook with them, but I drink a lot of tea. Oh, okay. Okay. So I, I drink different types of teas and stuff and like I bathe with herbs, so Ooh. Yeah. Do you use herbs? I use herbs, I mean I cook with herbs in the <laughs> herbs that are in like a, you know, bottle. You, you got Old Bay? I don't have Old Bay. I have, you know, the normal. I really like the Creole seasoning. I forgot who makes it, but it's just like Creole seasoning. You got to get Old Bay. Like. Old Bay? Is, it, is that for seafood? I think it is, but I put it on everything. Really? Yeah, I feel like I everybody needs a little, that. little, like, pink salt and a little white pepper, and I'm good. Yeah, I'll be, yeah, I'll be flavoring, like, I'll be having Nami. that. Yes. Nami probably knows you are. Come here. She's too cool for, like, anything. Sure. <laughs> We're on live. Hi. Hi. I'm Jay. I know. She knows. <laughs> are you a fan? <laughs> She thinks I'm not cool. Am I cool? Yes. Yes, yeah, Uncle Jay over here. Um, yeah. Do you live close to Simply Wholesome? No, I actually live very far from Simply Wholesome, but like, oh. it's worth the trip. 
because it's like not only do you get to like eat good food, but it's like a good area to lounge at. Like that's where I grew so. up. So I grew up right there. And yeah, Lumber Park is that Lumber Park, right? Um, if you go down Slauson, you'll be in Lumber Park. Like if you go down Slauson, past Crenshaw, a little to the left, but uh, simply wholesome, right there on that hill we call it Slauson Hills. Yeah, it's like yeah, and it's like Wait, all those nice houses. Some, I saw somebody talking about uh salt and pepper i don't i can season food very well ask about me <laughs> but you'll be surprised pink salt pick your phone yes yeah, salt, salt is fire but like only time i will ever just use salt is like on like pasta and i'll just put salt like you put salt on your pasta or is that just me i put salt on everything yeah yeah like if i'm if i got like pasta like or rice i'll just drown it in salt Nice. Yeah, something's wrong with me. What's your favorite? Uh, you like gemstones, right? Yeah. What's your um, favorite? My favorite. Oh, let me get it. It's so <laughs> fire. Show me. Um, you can if you want, but you have to participate. Don't just be in here just staring at me. Wait, hold on. Let this me. Crazy. Let me get my boots together. Hold on. So I love uh, garlic powder, fresh garlic, nothing beats fresh garlic. Oh yeah, garlic and like onion. If it don't got if gun if garlic and onion is not like the base, then are you really eating? Like it's no. like <laughs> yeah. Garlic, onion, a little bit of olive oil, let like that let like that yeah. cook for a little bit and then whatever else is going on. I, I probably have had old old bay. I've probably I probably have had old bay in something that I ate. You know, but I have never purchased it and cooked with it myself. Yeah, it's hard to find in L.A. too. Like, I forgot how I found it, but I asked my mom, she's like, yeah. I was like, what do I need to get? Like, what season do I need to get to cook like you? She was like, oh, you need to get Old Bay. Like, you need to get Sazon, Goya. I was like, What do I use? What's, um, it starts with a, a spike. Is it called spike? Have you used that? No, I never heard of it. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Yeah, I've just been using it's like a powder, like a broth type situation. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like cube. Y'all probably know in the comments, but it's like a cube and you throw it in there and it melts. That's the kind of the curry that I make. Uh, it's, it's Japanese golden curry and it comes in blocks like that. It's so bomb. You literally don't have to. And it's so much flavor. So much flavor. Wait, I did love... you tell me your, your favorite? Oh, yeah. There it is. So this is like syndicate. And I like syndicate because it's like, it's the first time I got it, like my phone was glitching. It was like crazy. What? Oh, yeah. is, is it for that? No, it's more like, do with the... it's like connecting with like spirits, like your ancestors and like just psychic and stuff like that. Just Ooh. on some like psychic type stuff, like, you know, stuff like that. But like why I like it the most is because like if you put it on a piece of ice, the ice melts. What? Like, it melts ice. Like it's so crazy. Do you pick your stones based off of just how they make you feel, or do you look up the meaning and then go get that stone? I look up the meaning, but then if I go there, like if I go to the store and it's crystals, I'm gonna go wherever I feel led to, even though I go there with a list. Okay. See, I always just pick out what is I'm drawn to type of thing, which yeah. I found out was Malachite. I always love Oh my Malachite. god. Um, Malachite, but wait, where's my Malachite egg? It's, I mean, it's crazy because eyes. like I can only yeah, use my Malachite sometimes because like it's a little bit intense. That one, the green one. No, the other green one. <laughs> that one. This is Wait, this is not Malachi. That it was the first one. <laughs> Sorry, it's dark in here. Where is it? This is one of my favorite ones. Oh my god! Raw. I like them raw. It's intense. I know. Like I use Malachi when I'm going to meetings, or like if I'm going to work out or just doing something, or if I'm like going to be in front of a lot of people, 
I'm like, then that's when I use Malachi because it's it's like intense. Like I feel like it makes you, it gives you like energy, kind of like an energy drink, and it makes me a little bit aggressive too. So like, yeah, Malachi, I just let me see. Yeah. I, oh, I I keep this on me because. <clears throat> I don't be oh, yeah. off top with it. <laughs> I'll be looking up green and orange crystal on Google. When I be finding stuff, I'll be forgetting the name Is of it. Is that your favorite color? What, green? Mm -hmm. No, my favorite color is black. Okay, okay. But all green is fire, though. All the colors. What's your right? favorite color? Blue. And all shades of blue. Yeah, blue is okay, fire. Okay, because Malachi, yeah, they said it is... For your solar plexus and your heart, increases vitality, supports tissue repair and recovery from illness. Okay, okay. Recommended for inflammation, arthritis, digestion, detoxification, aids in building self confidence. That's probably why I yeah. love this because I be needing that little extra boost of confidence. Yeah, it's very like I don't know. But they say don't get it wet, too. They say don't really? wet it. Yeah, don't, like, yeah, because it's, like, poisonous if it gets wet. Mm. I definitely yeah. washed all of my crystals in lavender soap, like, to clean them when I... Smell. Yeah, they say that and, like, selenite. Like, you can't selenite, get selenite. Because yeah. selenite will melt. Someone melts. asked any tips on how to get to sleep. I feel like you would have... I'm going to tell y'all right now. Epsom salt bath. Yeah. Oh my god! Like lavender. Oh Epsom salt. Well, <laughs> you wanted to <laughs> go get the little bag. I have a good brand too. That I love. Love Epsom salt soak. What brand do you use though? Say that. Um, it's from Air One. Yeah. Have you been there? Air One. Yeah. Air One. I don't know how to say it. How do you say that? Air One. It's nowhere backwards. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> I never knew that. It's right by the, it's on the tub. Wait. This whole time, yeah. I did not understand what that, what it was. Wow. Yeah, I just now found that out this year, too. I was like, what does that mean? I literally just sat there and, like, looked at it. I'm like, what could that mean? And I just looked at it backwards. I'm like, oh, that's nowhere. Dang. Yeah. Wow, the more you know. And here's Namiko with, no, with the other one. This one? Yes. Thank you, my helper. That's what kids are for. Oh, oh my god! So this is so bomb, and it's 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 infused with CBD. The CBD oh, has no, THC no, in it. No, so supposedly there's no THC in CBD. Like they take the CBD from the marijuana plant, like they extract it, so it has all of the pain relieving and like relaxing properties of the marijuana plant, but it doesn't have THC. But sometimes when I soak in this bath, and sometimes when I'm taking my CBD oil, that's supposedly completely THC. Sometimes I feel a little, a little high. Oh yeah. I tried the CBD little tincture once. Took me up out of here. I was like, like I literally left the planet. Like on on just a tincture. Maybe yeah, maybe I had THC in it, but I left the planet and I was gone for like the whole night. See, there's like, some that are that are both, and they'll be like, I don't know, they they'll call it like three to one or whatever, and it'll have like a certain percentage of THC and a certain percentage of CBD, but. I've been getting the pure CBD, and sometimes I'm like, I don't know. Some THC might have slipped through because yeah. I'll start to feel like I'll have, like, the munchies or, you know, something that makes me feel like when I'm high. But I haven't been smoking. I haven't smoked in a really long time. So. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't smoke. Like, I can't do anything that makes me not feel in my body. Only thing I can do is, like, shrooms. Like, I can control myself on shrooms. Really? But like, yeah. But, like, on anything else, it's, like, intense for me. So. I yeah. like shrooms. I was microdosing when I, like, was doing them. And 
they're not addictive though you know what i'm saying like after yeah. a couple experiences i i learned a few lessons and i kind of just haven't felt the need to do anything you know what i'm saying like the same thing i haven't wanted i haven't felt the need to escape my natural yeah. state even if i'm sleepy or whatever it's like or not feeling creative i would rather just like not I would rather just ride that way than just wait until it happens rather than try to force. Yeah. A yeah, with shrooms, it's like, I let that come to me. I don't, like, go looking for it. Recently, I, I have been wanting to try it because, like, I'm just in the house and I'm like, and it's a lot going on. And I feel like sometimes when you're on shrooms, you, your subconscious thinks of things, like, that you're, like, I, I, can't I feel like it. it would be too emotional right now. Like, yeah. I feel like it would just make you feel like just everything. I don't know. And it makes me want to be outside and like move around. And you can't. It makes me want to be out. inside. Bring Grammy. Bring me. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me want to be in the house. Really? Like, the I can't show. even look out the blinds on Shroom. Like, I can't even like. You it's, feel like paranoid or scared or what? I be feeling like people watching me. <laughs> it is like I just want to be in the house, like under a blanket. Oh yeah, when I do, I have to like cover myself up in like so many clothes and just feel comfort. Like yeah, I get cold. I get cold. Yeah, I get yeah. It's like very. I just want to feel warm and just like almost like hell. It's like uh, when I'm on shrooms, it's like kind of just needing love. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. And it's like really appreciating, you start appreciating stuff around you. Do you eat them or do you make them a tea? I've only ate them. I had shrimp sandwiches, shrimp spaghetti. Like, I can't well, eat by myself. Someone so. said, don't do drugs. And I agree. And I yeah. talk to Nami about it all the time. Learn from your mother's mistakes. Um, but I believe that things like marijuana and psilocybin magic mushrooms or whatever, I believe that they have healing properties. You know what I'm saying? I believe that they're, they're plants, you know, they're med they can be medicine. Of course, if you abuse them, you know what I'm saying? They're not to be abused. Um, they can definitely be used as medicine though, so. Yeah, and I definitely <laughs> advise people, if you're gonna, I just feel like do it when it's necessary as far as like, I might do it for spiritual reasons and not just because you want to have fun. Right, right. Like, actually have a meaning and, like, intention behind it. Exactly. And, like, do it. Exactly. And, like, microdosing, too. Like, um, that's what, the first time I did them, I was doing them recreationally. But then I started reading about it and found out that there were a lot of studies, clinical studies, um, where they were using psilocybin for depression, for anxiety, uh, for PTSD. And yeah. it was microdosing though. And it was also in conjunction with therapy. So a lot of people said that it, it cured, you know, a lot of their mental, you know, illnesses. So, you know. Mugwort is really good too. To each their own. What, what's that? Mugwort is like, it's, a, it's another herb, but it's really good for, like, if you don't want to go deep into, like, psychedelics, mm -hmm. it's really good for anxiety, like, because I know sometimes people do, like, shrooms, they feel anxiety, and it won't even let them, like, enjoy it, but, like, mugwort is, like, a, I don't, yeah, it's, like, a regular herb that you can get on, like, Amazon, and it's, it's very good for anxiety, like, it really helps me with anxiety, and it also helps with, like, just, like, dreams, like, your dreams are, like, insane um, yes yeah, someone told me her dad told me about a tea that is for your dream so i wonder if it has that in it it's supposed to give you like crazy lucid dreams yeah like the first time i tried it my dreams were insane but i also fell asleep because i'd be so nervous before i do anything like i have really bad anxiety so i'm like should i be doing this and then i tried it i'm like the anxiety just went away and i oh, felt wow. really like you start feeling really creative and you eventually just go to sleep and you know. it's a my good night sleep too really my system is super sensitive so like for instance today i had green tea 
and I feel like I had the strongest cup of black coffee. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't know. Even when I tried the mushrooms, I didn't do a lot because I'm super, I'm small, I'm sensitive, sensitive to yeah. everything. So everything in moderation, though. You know, everything, too much of anything is not good for you. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I try to just, like be as clean as possible and just as far as that and food too. Like I cut out meat because like my body is so sensitive. Like any little thing, I'm like having like anxiety. Even with food, like too much sugar or like if I eat too much chocolate, I'll have anxiety. Like really bad anxiety. So I try to like limit everything that I do. That's good. But, yeah. What do you, what have you been doing during quarantine to keep your I don't know, do you feel like you are in good spirits right now or are you feeling a type of way? Is this just normal for you? I feel like it's more good than bad. I've been feeling like I can finally like sleep and like Nobody can tell me that I have to wake up because I just don't <laughs> yeah. have to wake up. Thank God I woke up, but I really don't have to wake up. I can just <laughs> sleep all day. So I've just been feeling good. Like, I'm just, like, taking a break from, like, having an obligation to do something. Um, but I'm also trying to keep my mind. Sometimes it'd be feeling like we're going to be in quarantine forever. Like, so I'll be trying to convince myself, like, no, we're eventually leaving this. and. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's the only thing that's worrying me. It's like feeling like I'm gonna be in the house forever. But mm. besides I that, really outside good. at all, because I know some people. I don't know. There's so many things right now, so many theories, and people are like, "It's in the air." Like it's from 5G. It's from, you know. I don't know. Trails. Like, like people have all types of theories. So. Yeah, I really don't know. Like. I feel with the 5G, I think it is some truth about radiation because I, I I think it's truth in anything because there is a lot of radiation that people be having. I don't know if it has anything to do with what's going on, but like I definitely it reminded me to like put like a uh, it's like these bit over the router. Is it a, is it a the little uh, thingy thing on your really phone? Call. I put it over top of the uh, router. I have one, the little, Ooh, I, I have one on my phone. My it's uh, Organite. Um, yeah, it's called Nami, Organite. Why you, somebody wants to know why you're rolling your eyes. I'm not rolling my eyes. That's just her resting face. I yeah, I mean, I'm from Jersey, so my <laughs> <laughs> pretty much the same boat here. I don't know. Yeah, I've been... Um, going outside a little bit. I have like a little balcony, a little patio, but it was crazy. I went bike riding around my neighborhood and I live a few blocks from the beach and they had like knocked down the caution tape. It was so many people on the beach. I saw some kids playing beer pong on their patio. I was like, okay. It's what like, we could have probably been outside like but everybody want to say, like, acting like there's nothing going on. And that's what's so annoying because it's like, that's why I'd be having anxiety. Like, when is this going to end? Because people are just outside. I'm looking at my friend's story, everybody outside. Thank God I have a backyard. Like, I have a lot of, like, backyard space. That's so good. I'm, if I need to go outside, I'll just go in my backyard. But, like, I don't understand how people can, like, know what's going on and walk outside. And like just crazy because even though I was on a bike and I had a mask on, there were people on bikes without masks, and I heard people like coughing and sneezing, and I was just like, "Ooh, I need to get home." Like, I felt like I would be more safe at home because there were so many people out, like more people than usual, and it's because you know people, a lot of people don't have to go to work, so they're just like, "What do I do with my time?" What have you been eating though? Like, how have you been like eating? I know that's cool. everything. Um, <laughs> I just found out that a lot of my favorite restaurants are still post mating because before, like a couple weeks ago, I was cooking every night, 
and I'm still trying to work on stuff at home. So yeah. it was becoming like a lot, obviously, you know what I'm saying? I usually am ordering a lot of food. Um, so it's been a good change in pace because I'm getting to cook. I have the time now to cook and clean like the things that I like to do my domestic yes. duties like I really enjoy laundry and stuff like that so but then my whole day is all of that and I'm like oops I'm, I was supposed to work on this song or something and I'm like yeah one or the other <laughs> can't do it all <laughs> yeah it's also like just trying to take it like it's still priority even though we in the house but it's like I'm I'm trying not to take advantage of like what I actually need to be doing, like, because we also have a lot of time to create and work on stuff we want to work on. So, I'm trying to take advantage of that and like. Yeah, but do don't feel like don't feel pressured because I was starting to feel like that. You know, like who knows how long this is gonna last? Oh man, I'm I need to get my poetry book done. I need to get my second out. You know, my next album done. I need to get all this stuff done. But it's like still take your time and really you know sit with yourself. And reflect because it's probably only going to get crazier you know what i'm saying like, yeah life period i feel like the longer you live the crazier it gets and this is a good time for us to all just sort of slow down relax you know what i'm saying we're always in a rush we're always like working on something we can't talk to our mom we can't spend time with our kid you know what i'm saying and this is a really good time to just be like wait a minute what's really important you know yeah definitely yeah, yeah. this is definitely the time to like eliminate stuff too of like just me thinking after this happens after this is over and i go back outside and i'm doing my regular life stuff again like what am I actually leaving behind what am I taking with me like I want to have a whole bunch of I want to like rest but I also want to have like stuff to like be working on like plan on planning on stuff so that I can like be working on it and like putting it out yeah when it's over because like this it's is, like, definitely hard to keep yourself motivated though right like yeah you know, anything like me I love I love my sleep I love yeah to lay in bed and so <laughs> getting, out early? Involves, getting out the bed right now is like mm, mm -mm, that's true oh, what when do you go to sleep though Ooh, um around three or four yeah. i've been watching youtube videos um on watercolor painting i'm trying to learn how to be a painter that specializes yeah. in watercolor <laughs> I've been getting back into drawing. I used to draw a lot. Before I made videos, I wanted to be like an artist. So I've been getting back into drawing. I've been drawing a lot. I've been making music. I've been trying to cook new things. I've been playing games. I never played video games. I've been playing video games. I've been reading a lot. What are you reading? Like, um, I'm reading a lot of like medicine books because like, before this was even a thing, I was already into like herbs and just reading about um, stuff like that. So I have this book. Um, it's actually insane. It's called uh, Magic Medicines of the Indians. Ooh. And that book, like. And so it has like recipes in it? Yeah, it has like, it just shows you all the different herbs that like the Native Americans use. And like, it just, I don't know. It just has like different baths you can take, different teas you can make mm -hmm. for different types of sicknesses. And I just like reading about stuff like that because it's actually crazy how people like lived so long back in the day. And it's right. like, they were doing something right. So, yeah. It's cool. You're going to have to make me a potion, one of your. I send it out. <laughs> I love I'm gonna send one over. Yeah, tea's fire. I don't be caring if it's sweet or not. I'll drink any type of tea. Bitter. I just like feeling like I'm drinking and I'm intaking something healthy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm getting sleepy now. But I'm probably not gonna go to sleep. I'm just gonna like 
We've been binge watching um, the, the Office. Office. I've never seen that. Ooh, what's your favorite show? I don't even be watching TV. Like that's good. I'm about to start watching TV, but I have not watched one show. Like I just that, took that's the new TV out of my room anything. so that I could do more reading and you know be more creative reading and writing. But I just find myself downstairs in my living room. She put me onto the office though. And it's really good. It's funny. I love it. Do they still do? It's like the old show, right? It's old, yeah. They do they still do it? Over. Oh, it's over. Okay. Someone yeah, I have not. Things. I have to be put onto a show, like, cause I don't really watch TV in my downtime. But if it's on, I'm like, what is this? And that's how I got into the office, cause I heard her laughing, and then. It was our little bonding, our little bonding time. I do watch kids, kids like mm -hmm. kids movies. I love kids movies, so like I'll binge watch that. Have you like, seen Onward? Onward, that sounds so familiar. It's, it's if you have Disney Plus or Amazon Prime or any of those, it's a Disney Pixar. It's so good, so emotional. I yeah, I need to, I need to tap in because um. Yeah, I have not seen that, but that's a movie or a show? It's a movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have y'all seen Random Acts of Flyness? No. That's a crazy show. Random Acts of what? Random Acts of Flyness. A Flyness. What is that on? That's on Amazon Prime. Okay. But it's like basically showing like, it's like so artistic and it's like showing just black people like going through different situations and like stuff that they don't talk about that's going on in the black community. But it's actually like really entertaining and like the skits and it's like shows and it's different locations and it's very like it's very it's crazy. It was actually on TV, I, I think it was, but yeah. Random okay, so I just started I thought Amazon Prime was just to order stuff <laughs> on. That was the first time I watched anything on there I don't know I'm really um really late on anything that has to do with technology or like you know like all the apps and stuff I'm like I don't know I can only do one at a time yeah I wish I didn't know <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of I'm tired of like technology and like phones and you have, like, I'm trying to slowly stuff, right? I'll be I'll be watching TikTok, but I'll make like I used to make them. But I, don't I was gonna say you used to be dancing all of that. Yeah, I used to be going crazy, but I'm just letting myself like just enjoy content now without having to be like the person making it. Yeah. So I watch all the TikTok. How old are you? I'm twenty. <laughs> I'm twenty two. I'm 22, and I've been making videos since I was, like, 14. Oh, wow. So you're kind of, like, all over it almost. Yeah. I'm, like, I, I stopped making skits and videos, like, last summer, I think. Big, fat, yeah. My oh, big, fat, yeah. Oh, my She hates it's Uncle Jay. I have three cats. How would you do The household. Well, when do you think you're gonna go to sleep? I really don't have a um thank you. I have no idea. I don't have a set time to sleep. It's whenever like I'm exhausted. <laughs> I usually turn the TV TV on so I can that's toxic probably. I turn the TV on so I can go to sleep. That's toxic? Yes. That's subconscious. Oh my god. See, you don't be watching it, but all of those, I feel like I can't Download it in my brain. I like it to be completely quiet when I go to sleep. She likes noise. And she was like yeah. that when I was pregnant, too. Like, when I would be trying to go to sleep, she would be in my stomach, like, dancing. <laughs> and then as soon as it, I would be around a lot of people or loud music, she would be completely still. So I'm assuming she would be asleep, but... I need peace and quiet, or I will be up. Yeah, I need chaos in the background. I need full-blown, like, 
an action movie playing in the background, like for me to sleep because That's if it's just quiet, I know. But if it's just quiet and there's no noise, like I start hearing you, you hear more stuff at night, and I feel like the would be making the most noise is the refrigerator. I don't know if y'all refrigerator be making noise, but like it my refrigerator, does, but I don't. It's not close to to my room. Yeah, I and it's weird. I don't sleep in my room either. I sleep in the living room, but and it's right next to the kitchen, so I just be here at like three o'clock in the morning. The refrigerator be DJing, <laughs> and I'll be like, "What is going on?" Do um, you um have you ever been uh, anywhere that was haunted? Yes, it's this oh. place in <laughs> it's this place in Pasadena, and a demon uh -oh. knocked me off. Like it was okay, so it's this. Uh oh mountain in Pasadena and it's a house that's on top of it that's abandoned and they say if you go up that mountain at nighttime like uh something really bad is going to happen like everybody was talking about it and me and my friends was like ain't nothing bad gonna happen like ain't nothing bad gonna happen so we went and like we went up the mountain it was pitch black Pasadena we didn't have no service on our phones yet we're this is a couple years ago this is when I was special I was I was touched um but um I went up there and I felt somebody push me and I came rolling down the mountain and I was like, oh, okay. And after like, I was all scraped up, my whole body was scraped up and I had, like, we went to in and out and I had took this picture. It was like with a yellow hoodie on and, and some glasses and like band-aids on my hand. And like, I posted on Instagram and it went viral. Mm -hmm. And like now people just know me from that. And that was from picture. the night that you got pushed down. Yeah, that was, people don't know why, like, people don't know why I took that picture, the history behind it, but the history behind it was I got pushed down a mountain by a demon and um, beat up. And, yeah. I feel like my cats protect me from evil spirits. I don't know why, they just, whenever I hear oh. little sounds in the middle of the night, they all... I remember you tweeted about this. It was yeah, something you tweeted like about this. Protect me from evil people, evil spirits, all of that. So I keep some cats. You should look. Do you know about Shekmet? Shekmet. No. It's like a Egyptian um, deity, and she's like seen okay. as like yeah. So basically, like I just feel like maybe that energy is around you. Maybe. And like maybe that's Shekmet protect because she's also a protector. She protects your. Oh, home. you know what? I pull. I've pulled. Um, I've pulled that card in a in a goddess deck before. Oh, checkmate. Yeah. Yeah. She so it was yeah. a goddess deck or it was like an Egyptian deck. I don't know. I be just trying all of them. I want to know. It was probably Egyptian. Them. It's Egyptian. Yeah. So, because yeah, checkmate is the Egyptian deity, but like she's seen as like a protector. I had a dream about her once, and I had like researched her more, and I found out that's how I found out who she was. So like she like. But all the cats and stuff, I feel like that might be checkmate protecting. So. Yeah, they definitely protect me. But I've never been pushed down by a demon, so. Yeah, I have, and it's not fun. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I was young, so. Yeah, as long as they're not messing with you anymore. As long as they're not in the house. They ain't come to the house. No, I always so. wanted to, like, I was one of those little kids when I heard a sound in the middle of the night, I would, like, get kind of, like, excited, and I would, like, look, you know, I, I, I would hope that I saw something, but I never saw anything. I've never, you know, I have dreams of people that passed, but as far as, like, when people are, like, I see, I see spirits and stuff like that, maybe sometimes I feel, feel things, but I always kind of wanted to see a ghost. That's probably why I've never seen seen one. Yeah, it's I've seen a few things and I don't I don't like it. Yeah. Like I I work with my ancestors and like the way that they communicate me is communicate with me is like through thoughts and like intuition. Yeah. Or it's just like I'll feel, I'll smell something. It's like through all the senses. Yeah. Like I'll smell something or I'll randomly hear a song and that's how that's them communicating with me. But, like, when you actually are is looking dead in the eye of something else that's not in the room, yeah, um, yeah that, that'd be too much. Um, so, yeah, see, I'm glad I, I can't see I think I've always been too, 
just thirsty to see something because like when i was younger when i was like five and six i would watch um twilight zone and tales from the crypt like i love scary movies and i would just be like when am i gonna see something like that in real life yeah she did too like she used to love scary movies i feel like she might like i feel like she might be able to see because like i feel like at nighttime when people aren't when people like noise at nighttime, it's because they can really, it's because they really can like sense something at nighttime that's actually probably really there. So she might actually have that like sense that she's trying to like block out. Because I know I'm, I'll be blocking that out. I'll be trying to sleep. That's it. Well, send them my way. I would love to talk to people from the other side. Yeah. Um, okay. I think we're going to get out of here. Nami's bored. She's in the comment section. She's rolling her eyes. <laughs> she's looking at me sideways. Cause I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> she's a little Scorpio girl. Sassy, spicy. Y'all gotta send me some movies. Um, Definitely some shows watch, to watch Onward because it's magical. I love cartoons. Like I love what is it? Gumball and. What's other shows that Adventure I like time? to watch? Adventure. Well, yeah, Adventure Time is old, so they don't really play new ones Grammy, anymore. stop it! But I, I really love Disney Pixar movies. They're always very, they always touch touch my heart. They always make me emotional somehow. Yeah, it's definitely good to watch something. I like The Proud Family. Like yeah, I know every word. Yeah. Like. The See, that was a little I, bit like I'm 32, so that was a little bit like when the when the Proud Family was out. I was I don't know how old I was, but I wasn't watching the Disney Channel, I guess, at that time. Yeah, Disney Channel. I don't know when it when the Proud Family came out, but I knew that you know it was popular and definitely. Oh, I know. I'm actually on the soundtrack of the Proud Family movie. Wow. Yeah. The one where they went to um, the island yeah. with the peanuts. They're in the car. Penny Proud and um, what was his name? 15 Cent. Who oh, my God. Was... And the kids? Yeah. My song is playing. Oh my God. So that's Wait. <laughs> oh, my God. That's actually so fire. I remember that. Yeah, yeah that. So that movie actually put me on to the Proud family series because I didn't you know I knew about it but I never really watched it so but yeah, I, was just like, I don't know why I feel like you're gonna like I'm not gonna, you're not gonna hit you not hit me <laughs> like mess with me yeah. <laughs> okay we are going to end our live but thank you yes, for thank you. going on live with me this is I don't know how people do this all the time it's very mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a so once in a... awkward. Like, I don't know how it cannot be awkward. Yeah, it's... All these people watching you, like, it, yeah, it's a lot of... It's a once in a blue moon type thing. Yeah. Like, I go live, like, once a month. But, yeah. Because I'm an awkward person, so... I don't... You're fine. I don't know how to entertain yeah, people. <laughs> live and direct. I, like, so. I never know how to... Um, when you know that other people are watching your conversation, you know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like, I don't know. It's weird, but, you know, I was just trying something new. Probably won't do it for a while <laughs> unless I have, like, a plan. Next time I'll have a plan, I guess. I don't know. Would you ever perform, like, on live? I don't know. People uh, been doing that. So I don't play any instruments, you know? I play my sound bowls, which performing with my sound bowls is a little different because it's more meditative and so it wouldn't be like a traditional performance it would be more like mantra you know mm. but i don't know it's i am very nervous all the time to sing live like it's i'll be singing around the house all day every day doing runs and you know what i'm saying but <laughs> it's like do it in front of a person i'm like uh, you know what i'm saying yeah so it's, it's intense like, yeah. yeah, that's something that I've always like had an issue with. I get very, very nervous, and 
it's hard to sing your best when you're nervous, especially, you know, all the nerves in your stomach. Yeah. Like, I'm supposed to be singing from that place, and that's where I'm nervous. So yeah, I don't know. I'm working on it still. Maybe one day. Maybe when I'm forty. <laughs> if I haven't got it, gonna be right over. We'll see. Oh my god. We'll what, you said forty is what? I said quarantine's gonna be over. Hopefully, we'll see. But I'll, oh I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll do something. With I my hope parents. it is maybe something with my bowls but i always wish that my parents like made me play a instrument like made me learn something because mm -hmm. when i see people just playing the piano or the guitar so effortlessly i'm just like dang is there a way that i can get really good at this right now you know what i'm saying like am i too old to learn an instrument no no no. Okay. People be playing. I, I feel like people do that when they get older, like jazz and stuff like that. Oh, people like they start to take, take on jazz older. and like. So. <sighs> we'll see. I also have a dream of being a ballerina. I don't know. I don't know if it's too late. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just starting to like really. I'm taking piano lessons and yeah, I'm starting to. I mean, but I'm. You, you know. got a whole ten. Yeah. Years. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying, like. I'm, I'm a little kid still, but... Well, I'm learning how to paint with water. Painting in fire, too. Maybe you maybe you should paint on live or something. Okay, okay. Good idea, yeah. good maybe idea. Maybe you should paint. Yeah. The thing is, like, I've been practicing the same flower, and I've probably painted, like, 20 of them, and then I've posted the best one out of all of them, and... It was just, it's just crazy to see how bad they were when I first started and how oh, yeah. I finally got, got it right. So maybe, you know, one day I'll learn how to sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Maybe, maybe one, one day, day I'll, I'll learn how to sing. You should hear her sing. I did. That song that y'all did is so fire. There's a there's a uh, a video on my IGTV of her singing. What, what was it called? Lost Boy. Is it called Lost Boy? Yes. So good. She did a talent show and didn't tell me about it. And oh, I found yes. out because... No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You did not tell me. You were like, oh, I thought it was just for the students. I didn't know you could invite... Because I did. I told you about that part. It was a full-blown talent show, okay? She didn't tell me about it. I found out because they sent, I found out because they sent the email, they sent a video of the talent show. And I'm like, what? You didn't tell me about this. She's like, I thought that it was just for, I sound like that. yeah, this is how you sound. I thought that they just, I thought it was just for the, for the students. I didn't know we could invite parents. Uh, oh my god yeah. i didn't know we could invite parents <laughs> i'm like to a full talent show she did so good though so she'd be acting like she out. don't want to see in front of me i'm gonna take that out but um yeah, I'm, I'm well, you know what i'm gonna do mm -hmm. i am going to do a live i just got some foundation for her i'm gonna do her makeup Ooh. I feel like six years. Yeah, as long as you stay days. occupied, I feel like it's yeah. just, yeah. Just some bonding stuff. You know, she does yeah. her makeup on her own, and then she'll be like, she'll try to act like she doesn't have on makeup. So I'm like, girl, let me do your makeup. I never... Yes, you do. Grammy, stop it. I'm about to start doing my makeup. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I ain't going <laughs> to. You can give us a little highlight. But sometimes I do. Like, I want my... I don't know. I just want my chin to look sharper. Do you have, can you grow a beard? I, I'm trying. Y'all <laughs> see? <laughs> I'm trying to grow a beard. But no, I'm like, I don't even know if I have puberty. So <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like no hair on my face. But it's like, it's trying to grow. It's a few little strands, you know, That's combing for, it out a little bit. guys, beards are like makeup. I be trying to tell people that, like, that is not fair. I wish I could grow a beard and just have a permanent, like, contour. I feel like beards contour men's faces. Oh, yeah. 
I wish I had a beard yeah. though. It'll come. No, not even a beard. I wish I had a mustache. This is a mustache, right? That go over the lip. You have a mustache. You don't have a mustache. Y'all see a mustache? <laughs> yeah, see a, mustache. Like a, little, a little something there. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting older, y'all. You know they do the little um weaves for guys now. They probably have a little a little bit like the little fake mustache and beard. Just try it. Just try it. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna try that. Just try it. This has like crazy something to attached to my to upper lip. Head. That's insane. Like, how do they they just peel it off at night? Oh, let me take yeah, that's what I'm about to do with these eyelashes. <laughs> just peel them off. Oh my god, that would be actually crazy. Just go to sleep. Oh, I'm getting tired. Yeah, if I woke up and saw a mustache on the Must thing, I would be <laughs> little mustache cases. Mm -mm. We should yeah. actually. I'm a. I'm gonna invent that. I'm a. I'm. A, I'll send you. The uh, a t attachable mustache. Yes. Why are you tickling me? <laughs> All right. Okay. We're gonna end it. It's twelve forty-five. We have school in the morning. Me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have sleep in the morning. I have to prepare for that. Get, yeah, prepare so. for your sleep. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice. Good night, everybody. Me. Everybody, get some sleep. Drink some water. Be safe. Stay inside. Be safe. Stay inside. Wash your hands, even if you are Please. inside. Just clean stay your hands. Epsom salt bath. Yes, yes, yes. Tea. Tea. Ginger. Ginger. Ginger root. And rest. This cat is yeah. so funny right now. Okay, you guys, bye. Thank you for going on live with me. No so problem. I wasn't awkward by myself. <laughs> no, it's cool. But um, yeah, I'm gonna hit you up. Okay, bye. Bye.